There are two words for the heart in the Quran. There's qalb and there's fuad. Qalb and fuad. I'll write that on the screen for you. They're both used in the Quran. Uh, the word fuad is unusual. Uh, the word qalb is typical. The word qalb is basically used for the heart. It comes from taqallub, which is to change because the heart is constantly changing, shifting position, beating. And also figuratively, your feelings are always changing. Your emotions are changing. So that's illustrated in the word qalb. Fu'ad comes from roasting, fa'ada. Fa'ada laham to roast meat on an open flame. To put the flesh under intense temperature is laham fa'id, roasted flesh. The idea of a heart being roasted is the idea of a heart intensified, fired up. In other words, when your emotions are excited, when you are extremely angry, or you are extremely uh, scared, or you're extremely courageous, or you're extremely happy, any extreme emotion, what do you use? Fu'ad. Under normal circumstances, what do you use? Qal. Okay? So there are two examples of it. One, one I'll give you now before the break, and one inshallah ta'ala after the break when we come back. One example of fu'ad I want to give you is inna sam'a wal basara wal fu'ada kullu ula'ika kana anhu mas'ula. Allah says, no doubt about it, the seeing, or the, the hearing and the seeing and the fu'ad, each of them will be interrogated. As far as with him, each of them will be asked about. Meaning on judgment day, you will be asked about what you heard, you'll be asked about what you saw, and you will also be asked about your heart. But which kind of heart did Allah mention in the ayah? Fu'ad. Fu'ad. Fu'ad is normal heart or excited heart? It's an excited heart. So why mention the excited heart in this ayah? وَلَا تَقُفُ مَا لَيْسَ لَكَ بِهِ عِلْمٍ إِنَّ السَّمْعَ وَالْبَصَرَ وَالْفُؤَادَ كُلُّ أُولَئِكَ كَانَ عَنْهُ مَسْئُولًا Sometimes we misbehave, we speak inappropriately, we lash out in anger, we do things that we shouldn't have done, and we say, well, that wasn't really me, that was I got really excited at the time. So you can't hold that against me. It was in the heat of the moment. Right? And so people say that when they are really angry, they say things they don't mean. Or when they're really excited, they do things they shouldn't have done. But you can't hold it against them because that's not fair. Because that wasn't my qalb, that was just my fu'ad. So don't hold my fu'ad against me, it was excited times, you know. What can I do? And Allah says, not in my court. Not in my court. I will interrogate you about your hearing and your seeing and your fu'ad. So you will not be able to justify your behavior. Sometimes there are fathers who are so angry with their sons. They yell and they scream and they abuse and they insult. And then the son is like almost suicidal and he's lying down in his bed. 18 year old boy crying in his bed. And his mother comes up to him and says, You know your father loves you. He's, he gets like that sometimes. It's okay. He just gets like that sometimes. There is no he gets like that sometimes with Allah. There is no explanation. Oh, that's just his fu'ad. That's the old way of saying it. No. No. There's no justification. You know? He doesn't really mean it. He doesn't really mean it. Well, it, it got recorded anyway. And you'll be asked. And you don't get to say in front of Allah, You know Allah, I get like that sometimes. What can I do? It's a, it's a problem. There are some young men who have a very hot temper, really hot temper, easily just flare up. You're playing some sports, talking, somebody looks at you and goes, what, what did you say? What, huh, huh, huh? Hold me back, hold me back. <laughs> you're like, you don't know bro, when I get angry bro, I just, I become the Hulk, I don't even know what happened. I don't remember anything. Like, okay, yeah. So you're blaming your Fu'ad again. The, the point of the ayah is, one of the points of the ayah is, we do not get to blame our excited emotional states to justify our behavior. You don't get to say, I was really scared, that's why I lied. Not good enough. I was really angry, that's why I hit you. Not good enough. You're not good enough. Your fu'ad is going to be interrogated. It's not off the hook. SubhanAllah. The, the analysis of the Qur'an of why people misbehave is so precise. If only qalb was mentioned, then you might get away with something. 
Fu'ad is mentioned so you don't get away with anything. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. If you enjoyed this video, please do share it with friends and family. If you want to see more videos from this series, click on the box at the top. If you want to see other videos, click on the box at the bottom. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks.